home, my love. But you're supposed to be here. I mean, in the flesh. No, my love. I'm imprisoned atop the tower in Downby. You said you'd be in the third tower. No. I said you needed to put up the flames in three towers to set me free. And I have. My prison in the Downby Tower could not be opened until all three flames were extinguished. Now you can come to the final tower and rescue me in the flesh. Soft, warm supper. All right, all right, just put a sock in it. It's growing a little old, even for me. Just tell me, how many lands must I venture to before this so-called final tower? And how many bows and instruments must I collect? And how many more idiots must I converse with? Nothing more. Just come to the tower. I'll believe that if I live to see it. Uh, there is, of course, a slight problem. The door to this tower has been sealed, and uh, I have no way out. I can help you. The magic that binds me grows weak thanks to your efforts. I was aware of Phoenix's plan to trap you and have been conserving my energy so that I could aid you this one final time. Your transportation to Danby awaits. Hmm, interesting. Look, could you uh, conjure up something that sticks to the ground? A nice carriage, perhaps? Oh, you'll be perfectly safe. I'll await your arrival at the top of the tower. I long for our first kiss. I'll tell you what. If you're not there, you can kiss my... Farewell. I hate people who have to be the ones to get the last word in. And so our brave bard would soon mount the fiery beast and ride through turbulent skies, winging his way towards destiny and the... Oh... Excuse me, I, uh, I get a little sick even thinking about flight. Ah, uh, I give up. And so our brave bard mounted the fiery beast, hung on for dear life, and tried to keep down his lunch.